Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we actually have two things to show you. One, we recently got to uh, experiment making our own filament, and two, Chelsea made a unicorn model, so we will be sharing that with you today. And apologies if you hear the thunder, it is currently storming, but I'm gonna film anyway, because that's the kind of channel we run around here. So as I'm sure most of you saw, uh, recently we went up to see Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, up in the Pacific Northwest, and um, he took us down to Protopasta, and we actually got to make our own filaments. Um, I'll put a link to the video up in the corner down here, also in the description. If you wanna go check that out, it is over on his channel. So we are currently the only people in the world with these uh, filaments. Well, I'm sure Protopasta has a couple copies, but um, so we printed with them and we are gonna show the results. So first I'm gonna talk about them a little bit. This is Chaos Red. It is the red that I created, and my goal was basically just to create a dark red. Um, like I said, you can see more in Joel's video, but you know, you gotta throw glitter in there just for good measure, so this is my Chaos Red. And this is the, actually the unicorn model that we'll be sharing, Prince with no supports, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. But right now, we're just looking at the um, finish of the filament. And don't pay attention to print quality on these when we were at Protopasta. Um, the materials that we were using actually got some moisture in them, so they didn't extrude properly, and the diameter of these specific roll, uh, spools is a little bit off, so the print quality isn't the greatest, but that won't be an issue um, if you guys buy your filament from there. It was just these specific ones. But you can actually see what the color is going to look like, which is the important part. I'll put some close-up shots here so you can really get in there and see what the Chaos Red is going to look like. And then uh, this one is Chelsea's, and as you saw in Joel's video, um, she originally was going to go for a periwinkle, which I had no idea that that was even a color, but apparently it's a light blue purple and um, it just didn't come out the way that uh, she wanted. It's pretty much just a blue. So she renamed it to Powderpuff Unicorn, which is actually the name of the unicorn she just created as well. So it didn't quite turn out like the periwinkle that she wanted, but it's still a very nice powder blue color with um, multicolored glitter in there. So it's still a very pretty filament, just not quite what she set out to create. And here is her unicorn that we printed in um, the Powderpuff Unicorn filament. And um, I knew I needed to see this one printed because it looks cool on the spool, but you can't really see uh, how the glitter works with it. So I was excited once we got this printed and I'll put some close-ups there so you can actually see the, the glitter in it. it. It looks really cool. So you can actually get these filaments right now if you're watching this video within the first couple days of me uploading it um, over on the Protopasta website. But I think once that uh, the time period on that page is done, I don't think they're gonna sell these anymore. So there is a limited time that you can get these if you wanna get your head uh, hands on some Chaos Red and um, Powder Puff Unicorn. And then Sean, Joel Telling's assistant, also created a color, um, what was it called, Chelsea? Cotton Candy State Fair. Cotton Candy State Fair. It's actually a mix of a couple different colors, but it's also really cool. So you can get all three of those over on their website right now. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna be permanent. So if you want it, get it now. And we have links to those down in the description. Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about uh, Chelsea's Unicorn. She created this in ZBrush. We didn't capture any footage of her modeling it, but um, it's such a cute little thing. It prints completely with no supports. And actually all of these that we've printed also have no infill. So um, they print very quickly and they weigh nothing. And they're just super cute. This one right here was printed in Filamentum's Vertigo Starlight. And it just looks beautiful in this filament. So we printed a big one. This one is scaled up 225%. And um, we can confirm that it does not need any supports at this. And I believe someone printed it um, at 250% or higher and it still did not need supports. But I imagine um, as it gets a little bit bigger, it might need a few. So as long as you have good cooling on your printer, um, no supports or infills needed for this. And it does show off the filament, just so nice. So if you wanna print one of these for yourself, check the link in the description. It is free over on Thingiverse. And uh, if you do print one of these, tweet me a picture. I'm at Chaos Core Tech and Chelsea is at Chelsea423. All of those links are down in the description. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. If you want to support us further, um, consider pressing that join button right next to the subscribe button down there. Um, it goes a long way to helping us keep uh, these videos coming to you. And we really appreciate the support. And we've got some really cool stuff coming soon, TM. So uh, be on the lookout for that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, keep creating.